Not only did Barnes & Noble make the 2012 Nook lighter and give it an anti-glare screen protector, they added a killer feature for nighttime reading, an integrated light. I'm Bill Detweiler, and on this episode of Cracking Open, I'm going to show you what's inside the new Nook Simple Touch and reveal the secret behind its glow light. If it weren't for the gray edge along its bezel, the Nook Simple Touch with glow light would look identical to the standard Nook Simple Touch, which I cracked open last year. But hold the Nook button down for a few seconds, and the difference comes shining through. So how does the light work? Well, according to CNET's David Carnoy, glow light uses a form of LED front lighting instead of the traditional backlights found on everything from tablets to TVs. Barnes & Noble developed glow light in-house and has filed for a patent. So let's crack this thing open and see what's inside. First, I popped off the power button and removed the screw underneath. I then slid the back cover down and lifted it off, disconnecting the battery in the process. Now, the 1530 milliamp hour battery has the same model number as the one on the standard Nook. Now, this makes the batteries interchangeable, but it also means a single charge won't last as long when running the reader's light. As with the outer shell and battery, the circuit board is nearly identical to the one on the standard Nook. There's an 800 megahertz TI OMAP processor, a 256 meg mobile DRAM chip, a 2 gig storage chip, and a Georgian Wi-Fi module. Besides a few extra really small ICs and components, the only big difference is a connector used for the glow lights LEDs. On the underside of the board are the emitters and receivers for the touchscreen system. With the main board pretty much covered, we can turn our attention to the display assembly and finally investigate the glow light system. The device's 6 inch display assembly is held to the front bezel with double sided tape and separating the two is a bit tricky, but a plastic spudger and a little patience should get the job done. Now, looking at the assembly, one difference between the glow light and standard Nook jumps out immediately. The screen's mounting plates are made from different materials. The standard Nook screen has what appears to be an aluminum plate. The glow light's plate, however, appears to be made from a die-cast magnesium alloy. The new material may be necessary for the glow light system, but it also shaves about half an ounce off the weight of the display assembly. Flipping the assembly over, we find the glow light system mounted above the actual e-ink screen. I know this because I reconnected the motherboard and battery to the display, powered the unit up, and turned on the light. Knowing I was in the right spot, I removed a piece of black and white tape from over the LEDs and again powered on the light. With that, glow light's eight individual LEDs were finally revealed. I really enjoyed dissecting the Nook Simple Touch with glow light. It was a cinch to take apart, has a beautifully simple internal design, and I discovered how Barnes & Noble made it weigh less and light up. Now, to see more teardown photos, check out my full Cracking Open gallery at techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. For CNET and Tech Republic, I'm Bill Detweiler.